we are discussing post mortem lesions in ppr ppr is caused by the morbilly virus transmitted through air the water feed vomits and contact this virus is a epithelotropic acting on the epithelial cells only basically the gastrointestinal tract and respiratory tract is mostly affected by this virus as this is a lymphotropic virus it can affect gut associated hepatic tissue or the lymphoid tissue and gel associated lymphoid tissue then mesenteric lymph nodes are affected or the those organs are lined by the epithelial cells and having the lymphoid structure in their submucosa all these organs are affected by the ppr almost all lesions are pathognomonic the oral cavity will show the bran like deposits erosions are present then oropharynx will show presence of bran like deposits as well as erosions are there abomasums will show congestion hemorrhages and erosions then intestines will show typical zebra markings then ileocecal junction will show hemorrhages and necrosis and lung will show pneumonia these are the simple type of post mortem lesions that can be present in the ppr now we can see one by one oral mucosa uh, there is a congestion erosion and bran like deposits if you see over here congestion is present over here and small 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 white color ma masses are nothing but a bran like deposits oral cavity may be the soft palate hard palate they will show erosions inflammation and bran like deposits in the oral mucosa now here again you can see the dorsum of tongue it is a smear by the bran like deposits the other parts of the oral mucosa is showing the congestion now if you see carefully there is a presence of small bran like deposits over the mucosa of the uh, soft palate here again we can see erosion so what are the papillae are present on the hard palate they are get eroded because of the necrotic changes in the papillae and we can see that hemorrhage so and the congestion of the oral mucosa and we can see here also in soft palate will show the congestion and erosions on the mucosa of the soft palate as a small small white color masses are nothing but the bran like deposits the bran like deposits are present over the surface of this papillae uh, which are present on the hard palate here again we can see the dorsum of tongue is completely occupied by the bran like deposits here we can see the whole area white white color it is nothing but the bran like deposits here we can see the severe congestion of the oral mucosa again we can see erosion of the tongue and presence of the bran like deposits over here so these are the typical classical lesions that can be seen in the ppr again here you can see ridges uh, of the hard palate they are congested one eroded one and the soft palate is showing the presence of the bran like deposits throughout the surface of the uh, soft palate is showing the bran like deposits over here the small small papillae those, those are present here uh, in the oral mucosa they are congested one uh, sometimes they may be highly congested you can see the small pin point hemorrhages on the tip of this papillae the ridges will show erosions and congestion presence of the bran like deposits in oropharynx or specially we can say the soft palate then the hemorrhages and severe congestion of the oral mucosa so these are the lesions that can be seen in oral cavity as we go towards the lungs we can see there is a presence of froth so just looking towards the lungs we can't say this is a because of the only ppr but it is a complementary uh, post mortem lesions that can be seen in the ppr along with the oral lesions so oral lesions will show the bran like deposits and lung will show variety of the pneumonia and it is characterized by the presence of some uh, inflammatory exudate and the exudative material in the bronchi so many times hs and ppr they are commonly present but the pure form of uh, ppr sometimes uh, it is difficult to get so many times they we are getting the hs and ppr together to differentiate that simple th thing is that we should go for the some cytological examination just take a impression smear from this area and we are getting the abundant amount of the intracytoplasmic inclusion bodies that we call as a synchytial formation in case of ppr so typically what we have to do just take impression smear from this area stain with the lisman stain and we are able to differentiate the different inclusion bodies they are present in the epithelial cells or the shaded epithelial cells of the bronchus then respiratory tract similarly we are getting the uh, froth mucopurulent material and pneumonia in case of the uh, ppr now uh, abomasum will show variety of the changes uh, sometimes we are getting the hemorrhages on the margin of the uh, papillae or the margin of the folds of abomasum here we can see the margins at the margins we are getting the small pin point hemorrhages and sometimes there is a diffuse on the margins as well as the through the body of that uh, fold we are getting the congestion and hemorrhages again we are getting different types of lesions in the abomasum so congestion erosion uh, hemorrhages and inflammation of abomasum mucosa so this is the abomasum mucosa which show pinpoint hemorrhages congestion also and erosions also 
so here we can see the eroded portion is present in the mucosa of the abomasum here we can see severe inflammation and sloughing of the mucosa the, this mucosa is get slough or the eroded erosions of the mucosa of the abomasal folds the congestion is there and pinpoint hemorrhages can be seen on the tip of the uh, margins of the abomasal folds then sometimes at the deeper portion or the cardiac portion of the abomasum we can see the erosions are there pinpoint hemorrhages are also there and there is a inflammation and edema of the abomasal mucosa along with the pinpoint hemorrhages erosions and the severe inflammation of the abomasal mucosa so these are the lesions can be seen in the abomasum sometimes we are getting the zebra markings type of reaction in the abomasum uh, abomasal mucosa also uh, similar to the that of intestines these are the abomasal folds we can see and this is the middle portion or the body of the or the fundic body uh, the fundus of the abomasum and we are getting these type of lesions in the abomasal mucosa sometimes we are getting the edema of the abomasal mucosa uh, severe congestion and sloughing so here we can see the sloughing and sometimes there is a uh, diphtheritic type of inflammation so here we can see some uh, whitish material is uh, attached to the mucosa of the abomasal folds and definitely we are getting the pinpoint hemorrhages and then congestion over here in the abomasal mucosa here again the similar type of lesions erosion abomasal mucosa congestion and pinpoint hemorrhages we can see so very small 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 tiny hemorrhages that can be seen the folds of the abomasal mucosa we can see uh, hemorrhages uh, pinpoint hemorrhages over here and these are the erosions erosions are present on the tip or the uh, margins of the abomasal folds uh, sometimes the eroded portion is affected by some secondary bacterial complications like clostridial type of infection and that may lead to the change or the multiple necrosis can be seen in the abomasal folds uh, no doubt there is a erosion severe congestion hemorrhages are there here you can see the hemorrhages but eroded portion is occupied by the or the secondarily complicated by the some of the area and that may lead to the extensive necrosis of the abomasal folds severe edema of the abomasal folds and there is a, a lot of thickening of the abomasal folds so this type of lesions they are generally uh, seen in a complicated case of the ppr so erosions are there and the erosions get infected by some other bacteria maybe the clostridia or other type of bacteria like salmonella or e coli in that case there are chances of the extensive necrosis of the abomasal folds no uh, congestion erosion humerus and inflammation of the intestinal mucosa so early stage we can see a little bit uh, look like a zebra but uh, we can see the early congestion here we can see at the some portion we can we are getting early zebra markings on the mucosa of the intestines as the pathogenesis uh, become more and more prominent the we are getting more and more prominent lesions in the intestines so like the zebra markings they are very very much prominent in the intestinal uh, mucosa Uh, here we can see the zebra markings are present and as the uh, pathogenicity or the uh, intensity of the infection is increases we are getting extensive type of lesions over the uh, mucosa of the intestines so here eroded mucosa and zebra markings and severe inflammatory reaction is there same type of lesions the congestion erosions hemorrhages and inflammation of intestinal mucosa and zebra markings whenever there is a zebra markings they are complicated by some clostridial type of infections we are getting some such type of extensive necrosis in the uh, mucosa of intestines Uh, congestion erosion hemorrhages inflammation of the intestinal mucosa and zebra markings so here we can see the zebra markings they are cl classically present over here again the same type of lesions the zebra markings and we can see the pear patches they are also necrosed one in those uh, pear patches they are present in the intestines they are necrosed one inflamed one inflammation is there we can see the edematous formation around the pear patches so this type of lesions they are present in the ppr here again we can see as the intensity of the lesions more and more we are getting the zebra markings very classically observed in the mucosa of intestines whenever there is a extensive type of hemorrhages extensive erosions are there different portion of intestines will show the different types of lesions like here we can we are getting the horizontal type of parallel type of erosions in the large intestines and wherever in small intestine will show the perpendicular or the typical zebra markings can be seen this circle will show necrosis and hemorrhages of the ileocecal junction again the zebra markings with the uh, typical severe inflammatory reaction and hemorrhages in the mucosa of intestines can say large intestines will having the mixed type of zebra mark over here in the large intestine here again the same thing is there some uh, they are perpendicular some are the parallel then ileocecal junctions will show the hemorrhages and necrosis 
Now here you can see different lesions. They are present in the ileocecal junction. Sometimes there is a edema of the ileocecal junction. If you see this whole portion is edematous one, and there is a edema, and little bit we can see the congestion over here, and there is a slurping of the ileocecal junction or the mucosa of ileocecal junction. So here again we can see the, there is a necrosis and uh, inflammation of the ileocecal junction. Hemorrhages can be seen in the ileocecal junction. Again here we can see the margins of the ileocecal junction or the Typically, it is a ileocecal junction will show uh, severe uh, hemorrhages and necrosis over here. Another picture of the edema of the ileocecal junction. So here we can see the pinpoint hemorrhage and uh, edema of the ileocecal junction and the necrosis of the ileocecal junction. Here the severe sloughing of the large intestine, intestinal mucosa and uh, necrosis of the ileocecal junction. Here we can see the necrosis portion over, present over here and very small tiny pinpoint hemorrhage uh, can be seen at the margin of the ileocecal junction.